All right. Everyone enjoying this uh, this session? I I have been these really great stories, and we're going to close it off with uh, with a super one. Uh, Daniel from Car Four is going to come. Up. Can we get advance that slide? There we are. Talk about leveraging APIs to activate new business channel. CTO of Car Four. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, after all this presentation, I think it will be very difficult for me to be original, but uh, I will talk to you about API. Uh, API at Carrefour. So, I, um, what was our journey? Uh, I want to start by something uh, obvious for all of you. We have started with a legacy system. So, when you are starting with a legacy system, the first question is how to fight against inconsistency of your legacy and slowness of your legacy. So why are we inconsistent? Because in the retail world, we had a lot of batches, and batches duplicate data from subsystem to subsystem, and each subsystem manages its own semantic. So it's a double way of building inconsistent things, you know? So the first question is, do we have to rebuild and uh, modify all the subsystems, or do we have to build a layer of abstraction on top of that and build API on top of this abstraction layer? So the decision was to build a Lambda platform in order to uh, have this uh, layer of abstraction and not to modify all the subsystem. It seems simple like that, but it's a long journey, you know. So, uh, we have built this, uh, this layer. Uh, it's a Lambda platform, it's a big data platform, Hadoop-based. And, uh, and obviously, the first thing we have to do when you are doing that is to collect all the data from the legacy system. So, ingestion of data, collection of data, and then we have cleaned the data, and we have exposed the data thanks to API to all new systems. So, all applications from now are built in a new way, using API and are getting data from this big data platform. Second step, um, obviously, at the same moment, we are speeding on the cloud. So we are pushing a lot of applications in the cloud, in particular front-end front applications. Every, every application which are, who are dealing, which are dealing with uh, end customers, and uh, all those new applications were building their own back office, so their own back end, not back office, but back end. And this new back end was running in the cloud. So new back end system exposed its own API, not going through this Lambda platform. And all new applications were getting data and dial dialing with APIs to uh, all new uh, back ends. So uh, it was... Um, <laughs> A huge uh, uh, moment. It was very exciting because a lot of things were happening at the same time, and uh, and uh, and we are pushing the cloud. So cloud is not mandatory to to build APIs. You can build API on legacy system on data centers uh, everywhere, but it, it's a fantastic enabler. It's a fantastic facilitator. So uh, the, uh, techn the technology of the cloud is is uh, helping you to speed and to go faster. And uh, why, uh, at this moment, we are using an API manager? Everything was said about that, because we need to reinforce drast drastically governance uh, for many different reasons. So how to reuse API? Thanks to the portal, you can expose API and you can reuse it. How to master your semantic? It's, very, very, it's absolutely key to master semantic. So you can do that thanks to an API management system. How to reinforce your security? Your best sponsor in the company is probably the CISO, the Chief Security Officer and RSSI. They, are, they love API management system because there's a, there's a protocol break on that. And, uh, and you can uh, select who is doing what, and you can manage groups, and you can expose externally, internally, and you can, uh, monitor, you can build a monitoring and alerting system, a very strong one. Um, so, so everybody is, is really confident in, in, in that. 
Uh, it's also a very good technical asset because you can use it to build a sort of a demilitary zone. There's a proxy or a reverse proxy on that. So uh, it's a way as well of uh, building a new architecture on the cloud with very strong arch architecture and very secure architecture. So it's uh, very useful for that. The third step for us was at one, so you just have to see the figures. We were coming for a billion of, a million of calls per month, and uh, now we are facing billion of calls per month. And uh, with peak hours uh, of uh, thousands of calls per second. Uh, let's think about uh, our business when uh, you are pushing command in a, in a proximity store, and if you have thousands of stores and thousands of products, Obviously, it's a billion of calls per, per, per month, per, per day, sorry, and per, per hour, per peak hour. So it's thousands of calls per second. So how to deal with that? Uh, grow, this um, this uh, growing is, is, is fast, is heavy, is, and is irregular, because some big projects can add a lot of calls uh, very, very, very fast. And then API exposition. Um, this is something uh, which happens when you have a lot of API. Uh, you can manage, on one end, technical API to faster integration, so, and on the other end, business API. Thanks to the tool, you can uh, expose API to gateways and not to promote them, and not promote them through, through portals. So it's a way of mixing things, but by pushing uh, this facility, by opening this facility, you can create a legacy. API, meaning that you can create a technical depth and you, you will have to solve this issue tomorrow. So how, to, how not to create this technical depth? Uh, today we have about 300 APIs, um, several uh, hundreds of millions of calls per, per month. Tomorrow it will be more and uh, we have to anticipate that. Cloud migration, uh, it was what we have done this year. So we have pushed everything in the cloud, including our data platform. So our data platform is running at Google. API management now is in the cloud. And uh, when you have to have all your APIs and your backends and your data platform in the cloud, you have to sync cloud. So one of the criteria you have to master is, is your uh, API management system cloud native or not? If it's not cloud native, uh, I can ensure you it's not that easy to uh, deal with that in the cloud because of contractual reason, because of scalability reason, because of non-functional requirement reason, because of cost reason. So uh, believe me, <laughs> if you are in the cloud, you have to select a, a cloud native solution. If not, it will be uh, difficult. Uh, Next steps, um, how to be confident in the load we will handle tomorrow. So uh, again, how to scale with this seasonality of, uh, of the business. Uh, how to reinforce API visibility for developers and to avoid, and to, avoid to create this technical depth, at business level and technical level. We want to expose data outside of Carrefour. We want to expose that API for partners. And uh, this is what we are doing at the moment. And uh, how to deal with latency. Latency is key for us. Uh, each time when we are facing a customer, we don't want to add on top of latency of backends, uh, latency of uh, the middleware. So if your uh, solution is adding a lot of latency, ob obviously it's, uh, it's something difficult. And we want to have exactly the same performance despite the number of calls we will face. So even if we are facing billions of calls, we want to have the same latency level. That's the reason why we have made this choice. Do we learn from the past? Um, yes. Um, we can create this legacy f much faster than decades ago. That's a, it's a risk. It's a real risk because it's totally open. Everybody can create an API. Everybody can duplicate an API. And uh, it's really something we, we are taking care of because uh, building another technical debt on top of the uh, old technical debt, it's, it's just something we, we want to avoid. But the opportunity is that we can detect it very fast as well. And we can correct it before we forget it. 
which is absolutely key again. So yes, there's a risk, but yes, there's also an opportunity. And to deal with that opportunity, with this opportunity, it's very simple. It's, uh, we have to think API as a product. API for the greatest number, not API to solve a local situation. So that's exactly what we want to do. And to do that, the idea is to build a, com a real community around API. If, we, if you want to have a, a strong governance, you have to have a strong community around APIs. So that's what we are building at the moment. That's what we are doing. And that's the way we are uh, handling the, this situation. And that's it. And the last slide is not happening. I don't know why. All right. <laughs> Questions for Daniel? Here we are. Hello. Um, if you talk about API community, who do you see as the members of such a community? Um, <laughs> it, we, we have, uh, in the same community, we have technical guys, business guys, security guys, um, the, uh, uh, the, the chief uh, data, uh, um, well, there's a lot of people. Uh, obviously, it's strongly linked with data management, it's strongly linked with the chief data officer, it's strongly linked with business, it's strongly linked with security. So in this community, you have a lot of people, you know. And, uh, and the way we have built this, uh, this first layer of governance is just to embrace uh, all those people and, to, uh, and all together to, to build something. But um, obviously, the first community you have to drive is developers, <laughs> because uh, the speed of uh, developing APIs is, uh, is huge, and integrators. Uh, two layers are, are there. Uh, the risk you are facing is to build a lot of technical API for integra integration purpose, and, uh, and uh, this is where uh, you, can, you can push a, a huge technical depth. But, uh, so, so there's different parts of the community, but the first layer, everybody must be in. And when I say everybody, it's business, security, uh, data, uh, technical guys, and, uh, and so on. OK, so, thanks. But it's not that easy to master. I have to say it's, uh, it's, it's quite painful, and uh, we have not yet succeeded in, in being strong at that. Another? Oh. Yeah, we have another one all the way down over here. It's like making sports. Hi, first, thanks for the presentation. What does the business outcome of this approach uh, support by happy eyes and happy eye management? <laughs> and how did you measure this, uh, this outcome? I will start by a story. Two, two years ago, we have, start, we have tried to build um, um, an API economy, uh, API economy system, and to push that towards uh, the business in order to say and to say and we have said to us, "Hey guys, it's an opportunity to make business." It was a total failure, by the way. <laughs> it was too early. Um, how to measure that? It's uh, it's very difficult. But uh, when we see well. In the business, like retail, we are measuring the number of commands, the number of, uh, of, um, uh, of uh, the figures we, are, we have at e-commerce level. So it's quite easy to say. Uh, because, and thanks to that, we have increased by two digits our, our business. So that, that's the way we are measuring that. So it's, it's very easy. But, uh, but there are many other KPIs like uh, um, ingestion, ingestion of data, the way we are, um, the renovation we are making on our uh, legacy systems, uh, how fast, how easy it is now to do that, and, uh, and so on. So there's many other KPIs. Yeah, okay. um, you made a decision right in the beginning to go with an abstract layer versus developing legacy. What uh, criteria did you use to make that decision? Um, 
As said just before, we, we had a lot of subsystem and a lot of batches because in the retail world we are doing that and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the dispersion of that, well, the way, uh, so du data was duplicated uh, very often and the semantic was not the same for each subsystems. So it was just impossible to think about APIs on top of each subsystems. It, it will be a total uh, uh, nightmare to, to manage that. And, uh, and the need we have for new systems was to expose clean data and single data and single API to access to a single data. And this, this was the, the, the heart of the, of the decision. Just to say, all new applications will have the same data built and accessed through the same semantic view. And that's it. That was the art of the decision. Hi. Um, thank you for your feedback. I have one question about how you deal with a new... We ah, oh, Sorry. <laughs> um, I wonder what was the main issue you have to face uh, when you put this kind of uh, mindset at Carrefour, because we heard a lot of initiative made, led by Carrefour mm -hmm. with several partners, and I would like to know what was the, the main issue you have to face as a CTO. The main issue you are facing when you are building a digital things is uh, to change uh, the culture. And uh, that's it. So that's the main issue. So you, are, you have to change the culture of the, of the company. So. Uh, API is not isolated from the rest. It's, uh, you have API, you have cloud management, you have uh, being agile, uh, DevOps, and all, all that at the same time. So, uh, so the culture, the main issue is the culture. It's not technical. Technical is easy, by the way. I'm a technical guy, so, <laughs> but culture, yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay, thank you. At the end of your speech, you mentioned the importance to have strong communities around the APIs. Yeah. How do you animate and manage those communities? Hmm. Same question again, how we try to manage this community. So it's not a single community, it's community. There's a, it's not only one, and it's uh, okay. But the first level, the first layer, you have to embark everybody in that. You have to embark the technical data officer, the technical, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the chief security officer, the uh, uh, chief technical officer. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody m must be in, including the business, because uh, API is business oriented for most of us, but there's also a lot of technical APIs, and, uh, and you have to, to manage that at a governance level with everybody. And then you have different community, community of developer, community of architect, community, and all those communities should work on the same way. So everybody's pushing uh, guidelines, uh, blue blueprints, uh, everything you want, but, uh, and, and you have to do that. Huh? It's, it's something you have to do. And then you have to, uh, you have to, to, to uh, animate all those communities for them to understand what is API, what you have to do, what you have not to do, how to master that, and how to protect, how to secure, how to, well, and all that must be shared. So it's a strong community animation you have to, to set up I think it's the best way to do that, but it, again, it's, uh, it's a long pass. It's a long pass for all communities. But it's not, uh, it's not a generic answer. I think that uh, in each company you can manage these communities differently, so it's uh, totally, it depends on, on the team you have, it depends on the many, many different things. Daniel, thank you very much. Thank you.